I caught crabs in Baltimore. In today's episode of Stealth Camp Baltimore, we install a battery bank shelf system, a Renogy charge controller, a 3000 watt inverter, two VMAX solar batteries, and make first contact with the walking dead, barely escaping from a hungry zombie. For all this and more, stay tuned. I had two of these shelves in my bedroom. <coughs> Real basic stuff, not even Ikea, more like Walmart specials. Um, you know, they attach together real easy. They have like that fiberboard back. And uh, what I was thinking, I was trying to figure out how am I going to set up my battery box um, to have my batteries, uh, my solar batteries, my inverter, uh, battery meter, charge controller, and maybe even a microwave. And trying to figure out how am I going to do all that and how am I going to set up shelving or platform or whatever. And then I realized, well, I can make use of what I already have. Let me uh, start doing that instead of trying to reinvent the wheel. So what I did is I looked at those two shelvings and I pulled one of the shelves. I took the backing board off, which it just slides in and then slides back out. And I realized with the, with the backing board out, everything can sit deeper into the um, shelving system. So whatever I sit in there will not stick out of the shelving, but it'll be uh, sort of, you know, countersunk um, or, in, you know, set in. So it is, I took the shelving and I had some brackets <clears throat> that I got from Lowe's and I used the brackets up in the upper corners on that side and on that side. So one end of the bracket, it's just an L bracket with three screws for each side. So three of the screws screw into the frame of the shelf and three of the screws sh uh, screw into the rib of the van. So I have an L bracket with six screws total on that side and an L bracket with six screws total on that side. And it just sits on the bottom uh, on top of the rug and it, it is sturdy, like really sturdy. There, I couldn't rip that thing out when it was, once it was uh, put in. So it is really stable. Uh, what my plan is, I'm going to have the batteries on the bottom shelf. <clears throat> and I believe I actually have enough space to have three batteries. Right now I have two batteries. I could order a third battery and have them set up one, two, three on the bottom. Put the microwave in the middle or on top. I'm going to put the inverter on the very top. I have a 3000 watt inverter with a 6000 watt surge uh, capacity. I'm going to put the battery meter um, probably on that side. I know I'm going to put the charge controller on that side uh, so that the, when the bunk is over here, I can look at the charge controller and see how things are uh, going. And um, so I'll probably put the battery meter and the charge controller on that side. So right here you see I have my 40 amp Renogy Tracer MPPT SAR solar charge controller costs about $300. That's a top of the line unit there. And I figured, based on all the different things I heard, uh, especially with a uh, charge controller, it's better to go with top of the line because it's going to extract the maximum amount of solar energy from the panels. What we're going to do with this <coughs> solar charge controller is we're going to mount it right here. And then I have the wiring. You can see the red and black cords coming in. I have, there's a little grommet. And so I pulled out the grommet, fed the lines through that hole, zip tied them, have them coming down through the frame, through some of the ribs, underneath the ribs, into the back of the bookshelf. And we'll have the batteries on the bottom shelf of the bookshelf. <coughs> what I did was I took, uh, just the shelf itself and then I took an extra shelf and I sat it on the bottom just to reinforce that bottom level because I'm going to have 300 pounds worth of batteries there. <laughs> I have two batteries right now. They're each about 97 pounds. So uh, I have first and second and I'll leave a spot for the third and as soon as that arrives then I'll put that there. What I did is I put a sticky mat here. This is the kind of thing people use as like tablecloths or something or um, liners if you have a mat on the floor or a rug on the floor if you don't want the rug to slip you put these sticky liners down so i'll put the sticky liner down figuring that since the wood is a smooth surface and the battery has a plastic casing 
if I put the sticky liner down, that'll keep the battery from shifting around and its own weight will create the friction against the mat and then the mat against the shelf itself. And then in addition to that, I am going to have some straps. So I'm going to strap the batteries together to this side and also to that side. So they'll stay in and not slide out and not slide back and forth. So you have these six holes, this section positive negative for the solar panels, this section positive negative for the battery, this section positive negative for the load. This will probably be where the inverter attaches. Solar panels, battery, inverter. This space for the remote control. It's an optional piece of equipment where it has a, the kind of jack that looks like a, plug, uh, a telephone plug that you plug into a telephone socket. Um, so that'll be the remote control, but these are the only three we're really going to worry about. Okay guys, what I got here is a, the power tech on pure sine wave inverter, 3000 watt, continuous power, 6000 watt for surges, it has thermal protection, overload protection, over voltage protection, under voltage protection, and low voltage alarm. It uh, also has a USB port and three standard uh, alternating current plugs. So this is the uh, inverter that I chose to use and I'm going to try to mount it on top, top shelf here, so that it's up and elevated, gets good ventilation, it may overlap the shelf a little bit, but hopefully not too much. So let's open this together. So this is now an unboxing. Ooh, this thing is big. Let's see. Comes with a box of accessories. So we have the inverter itself. Looks like it's just the right size for the shelf. And let's look at the accessories. Oh, so we have a remote. We have cables. It looks like two red and two black, possibly. Let's open this up and see for sure. And these are thick cables. These are, they're not uh, two gauge. They look like maybe they're four gauge, possibly. Let's look on the box. And black and red cables with ring terminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Does it say? No, it doesn't really say. Oh, well, hopefully there is a instruction manual in here. I am all about reading the instruction manual, and there is no instruction manual. Okay guys, for this one, this inverter costs about $300. What I would propose for the creators of the inverter, let me just look on the bottom and see if that's, there it is, instruction manual. Let's get it up on the shelf. Now we can also size it, make sure it fits right. There you go. Fits great. Well, there we are. There's the inverter. Fits great. It's 
No overhang, it's got two fans. All right. All right, what we have here are VMAX 12 volt rechargeable solar batteries. These are each 155 amp hours. So together it's about, uh, what, 310 amp hours. I have one more of these in the mail on the way, but we're gonna go ahead and take these two suckers and put them out into the van and sit them on the shelf. So, here is the thing. They weigh 90 pounds each, easy. Maybe 97 pounds, but close to 100 pounds. So we're gonna go out through the side door, which is right there, and we're gonna carry these one at a time and get them inside the van and then sit them on the shelf. Alright, so we're going to put the batteries on the bottom shelf. First I'm just going to pop off this one to make it a little easier to fit them in. I'm going to insert these with the positive side facing in and the negative side facing out. Time for the second battery. Alright, good morning YouTube community. Today is a beautiful Sunday morning and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of work on the van today and really getting it moved towards completion so that we can get ready to bug out because the zombie apocalypse is on the way. So let's take a quick look at what we have going on. So here we go. We have some uh, workshop equipment in the back. Uh, the van is all insulated. We have the bunk prepared and we just got in the mattress. So the mattress is over on the far side, right over there. Uh, so we're going to do an unboxing with the mattress and show you what that looks like. Uh, what I have here is two of my solar batteries, the VMAX AMG batteries, deep cycle solar, each 155 amp hour. So right there, that's uh, 310 amp hour. And then I bought one more battery because I still had space in the shelf. So that should put me right about, uh, let's see, 465 amp hours, give or take a little bit. And we're going to wire that battery in and we'll do an unboxing. And that's also one of the VMAX deep cycle. We have some of the cables on the top that we're going to wire that in with. And in this open space, we are going to uh, put in a piece of furniture that's going to be our big screen. It's going to be the, um, the framework and the, the stand for the big screen TV as well as the entertainment center, the PlayStation uh, 3 and the PlayStation 2. And hopefully there'll still be space right in this area where we can fit in a mountain bike. So we're gonna have everything working inside that space. And then just a preview of coming attractions right here. I've already ordered a sink, a utility sink. And I'm thinking the sink will go right in this space right here. And right in here is where we'll have our food preparation counter where I will uh, probably install a shelf or something there to put our induction stove so that it's relatively close to the exhaust vent. And shortly after that, we will get our uh, refrigerator and we'll hook up our water system. So that's gonna happen in the next day or two. So get ready for a lot of really cool building construction action. Thanks.
This is Jay from Stealth Camp Baltimore. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos. If you want to learn more about stealth camping in a tiny home, living rent-free and mortgage-free, please visit StealthCampBaltimore.com. You can find a link to the website in the description, as well as a link to all tools and products shown in this video. Subscribe today and check out my other videos in this tiny home stealth van build series. Hey hon, thanks for watching and be sure to visit StealthCampBaltimore.com and I'll see you around downtown.